Hi, it's Paul Feuerstein, Technology Editor of Dentistry Today. And I'm here to talk to you a little bit about digital impressions today with a twist. I'm here with Leslie Melvin. Leslie, how Hi. are you? Good, how are you? And Leslie's with Culzer Corporation. And um, Culzer, as you know, has an array of products, of uh, restorative products and all sorts of cements and things, but they're also in the digital side too, which most people don't really know. And they're making a very interesting entrance into the digital world today with something called Cariscan 4.0i. Correct, yeah. So what is this? So this is our new uh, tabletop chair side impression scanner. Impression scanner. Yes, and this is a scanner that is taking traditional impressions and digitizing them with an automated processing or an automated workflow process. So in other words, I can now be a GP, use the same impression material, I've been, well, with some restrictions, some, the same impression system I've been using, take it, put it into this machine, it will scan the impression and send it to my laboratory. Absolutely. So, so I don't have to worry about stone, no. models, anything like that. No, absolutely. Dig digital workflow. Digital workflow, uh, triple tray process, full arch, dual arch, um, you know, single arch posterior, or posterior restorations, modelist crowns, this is the ideal solution. And I know that people get nervous about the price point of the intraoral scanners. I mean, it shouldn't be, but they're, they're well over 10,000, 15, 20 plus thousand. Yeah. What's the price point in this? So this is a unique um, option. It's about $6,500. Wow. Uh, so the, when we developed this product, it was all about inexpensive, easy to use, fast, something that everybody could use. So this is the, the solution. So, so the, I think the winner is the laboratories for starters. The laboratories are dying for us to get the digital impressions over to them. Right. And, and a lot of, there's a lot of resistance from traditional dentists who are my age, and, and they go, why do I need a digital scan? I've, I've been doing so well with my digital, with my standard impressions. Right. And now I can take my standard impressions with all the bevels I want to do, all the weird shapes of preps that I want to take care of. Right. I don't have to worry about the scan, because if I see it in the impression, this can see it too. Exactly, and you know what's great about this is there, it's, it's so easy to use. You don't have to mark any margins. You, have, you do not need to design anything. It's all about scanning, viewing it, and sending it. And, and also sending it, let's think about that. I take my impression, I send it in the mail, I send it by some FedEx or UPS. Yeah. It might get lost, it might get broken. Exactly. It just goes right to the lab. Absolutely. I would, and I also know, we spoke a little earlier, there's a cost savings, there's no shipping fee, there's no uh, outbound shipping, there's certainly inbound shipping. Yes. Uh, so you save on that, on that level also. It's Absolutely. Kind of, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. And then if the, if the laboratory goes to a, what's called a modelist situation, because mm -hmm. they're scanning it, save the model fees, so there's actually a cost savings just by using just this product. Just by using it, absolutely. And what's great about this too is it's all encompassing, so it's a plug and play system. Nice. Everything is here, so there's no, in terms of space for the it's dental office, small, yeah. it's very small. And I looked inside of it before, so I, I take a triple tray, I have to trim it a little bit, I put it on this little thing and it sort of spins around and yes. picks up the triple tray and the upper and the lower and stitches them together, Correct. which I thought was very, very, very slick. And in other cases, it seems that if I take an independent upper tray, upper tray or a lower tray, and I get a bite, I can actually scan the bite, and again, it stitches it together. Exactly. So, so it does and the labs have a little work to do, but they have, they're going to love this. Right. And uh, one of the inaccuracies, I have to be honest, with, with traditional impressions is you take a stone model, and, and every dentist takes a big glob of stone, throws some water in it, and mixes it up for a certain unknown amount of time. The manufacturer's instructions say 50 grams of this, 20 milliliters of right. that, mixed for 60 seconds. Nobody does that. Right. So immediately, if you pour your own model, it's wrong. It's expanded or contracted. With this, you're not pouring a model. Or I guess they can print. I guess the laboratory can print a model. Absolutely, the laboratory can print a model. They can do their normal digital workflow in the lab. So it's all about receiving the digital data, designing immediately. You can get your crowns back faster. Uh, oh, but yeah. they can print, so, and the thing that this is, you know, with the direct scanning on a powder-free scannable impression material, your, your accuracy and your efficiency is going to be so much better. So that's important. So certain materials can be scanned better yes. than others. Absolutely. And I, I assume you have a list of those. Yes. <laughs> and yes. I assume you make one too. Correct. We make a scannable <laughs> impression material, so that would be obviously the ideal solution and the ideal impression it's, it's material. It's a great material. But, yeah. I've, I've used the material. It's a great material. Um, now the other thing that's interesting is that some of the offices I wanted to do a lot more edentulous work with uh, partials and things like that. And taking a digital impression of an edentulous area is very difficult. Absolutely. Here I have a chance now to take my traditional, whatever, PBS impression yes. for partials, maybe even for dentures at some point. And again, the lab doesn't care. They're going to make a digital mo right. model of that. 
So currently, right now, this is not the unit that can scan edentulous. However, well, I meant I mean partial yeah. edentulous. That will work. Yes, future forward as fully, well. Yeah. Fully edentulous is kind of the path we would like to go, also. And but if, absolutely. If we do fully edentulous, does not Kulzer have something up their sleeve? Yes, of course. <laughs> so we have our Pala Digital Denture Program, um, which is saving the dentist time. They can take an impression all in one visit. So it's a great pro it's a great process. And you always have a digital workflow with even dentures. So I think that's yes. the, I, I'm sure that's the crystal ball. But Absolutely. so starting easy, I want to just I'm just the GP. I want to take a single crown impression, bite on the triple tray, stick it in the machine, push a button. There's actually a very very simple screen. Yes. I saw an interface there. Send it off to the lab. Boom. Boom. You're, you're a ready digital, to go. You're a digital dentist. You're for a under, digital dentist. Way for very low cost. under ten thousand dollars. <laughs> yes. You could probably put one in every room. Absolutely. I think you'd like that. Yes, for sure. <laughs> Now, to find out more information, uh, I assume the Colza has a website. Yes. And we'll post that on the, we'll post the website. Yes, please visit the website. We've got a lot of videos on there. We've got a lot of information. So you can request more information. We can come out and show you a demo. So, Leslie, great product. Thank you. Nice to see you there. Appreciate it. All right, thanks a lot.